everyone welcome back to the chapter 4 of build a rest api with golang gorilla and mongodb so this is the uh, chapter in which we are going to test our data layer which we created in the last chapter so let's get started so before we start there is one uh, small change we have to do uh, go to insert employee and just add the dot insert id to the result so it will return the object uh, ID created by the MongoDB. That's it. So now I'll just create another file inside repository employee underscore test dot co. So going to be package. So we are going to create a new function called new Mongo client, which will return the uh, pointer of the Mongo client. And this is the client which we are going to use for our uh, all the testing of the MongoDB uh, methods. So this function is going to be like mongo dot uh, connect and then we have to just pass the context so for simplicity we will just keep it as the context dot background then we have to pass the uh, our connection string so from the chapter 2 if you have it uh, handy uh, just uh, use it like option dot client uh, dot apply uri and this is going to be your uh, simply your connection string so uh, if you can see uh, i have used the admin123 that is my password so if you still have that password field there so just replace it with your password if so, there is no error we'll just simply log as like mongodb successfully connected so once uh, it is there then let's just check for the ping statement also so mongo test client not ping and it will take one context so we'll simply use background and we have to tell it like okay which uh, particular uh, instance it has to use so as it is a cluster it will have multiple nodes so we'll prefer the uh, primary one so read preference going to be the primary one and just a basic error check ping failed and if everything is works fine then we'll just print it as like ping successful and in in the end we'll just return the mongo test client uh, that's it so now let's just create a uh, mongo operations test case and this is going to be our um, umbrella test case kind of thing and inside this test case we are going to create multiple test cases so it's kind of a nested one so for that what we are going to do is first we'll uh, create a mongo test client uh, using the new mongo client and then we'll just call the differ statement uh, to disconnect this mongo client once the test cases are done so what it will do is like whatever connection we have made to the mongodb so once the test case will end it will disconnect the connection otherwise it will be uh, be on for some some time so simply disconnect and continue back on so now just add certain uh, dummy data to it like uh, most of the things we are going to use uh, uh, dummy data but for the employee one uh, it's going to be our employee id so for this we have this uuid which we have installed uh, of google uh, slash uuid there is one function called new which will create a uh, random string and uh, so it, the new function returns an object so to convert it uh, we will have to use this uh, string method so we are going to create two employees uh, so one is employee one employee two and another one is going to be uh, another uid will just assign to it okay uh, now we have the test client up there mongo test client so it is just a client it is still not connected to a particular uh, database and uh, and a particular collection so to uh, to make a connection what we are going to do is like uh, we'll directly connect to the uh, collection so for this it's going to be the mongo test client dot database so our database name is the company db and then the collection name is we are going to give is like employee underscore test so if you remember we have just uh, created the collection called employee not the employee test so there is one good thing with the uh, mongodb is like suppose if you don't give the uh, if you give a collection name which doesn't exist it automatically create a new one so we don't have to uh, will not receive any error uh, if the collection is not there mongodb will take care of it now initiate the employee repo so employer repo will accept a mongo collection instance and uh, so which we already initiated as collection 
so now the first operation we are going to add is going to be the insert employee so insert employee one so our uh, to write a nested test case what we are going to do we are using this uh, inbuilt testing package so t dot run so the first argument going to be the test name so we'll name it as like insert employee one data or insert employee one okay and then going to be the uh, another uh, nested function going to be the which accept the testing t so let's create the our uh, dummy data so so model dot employee and the name going to be tony star uh, department let's give it physics and uh, the employee id which we have just created as like employee one now we'll just uh, uh, call our employee repos insert uh, insert uh, insert operation insert employee and just pass the employee yeah and it will return the uh, the insert id and the uh, and an error so if we receive any error then we'll consider it's like uh, test case is failed so for that we are going to use t dot petal so the reason we are going to use fatal is like we want our operation to be stopped that time only uh, instead of continuing the execution if uh, you want to continue the execution uh, you can use the fail t dot fail something and if there is nothing then our insert operation is succeed okay so let's test it uh, so before test it let's just comment this employee two which we are not going to use right now and uh, yeah so to test what we have to do is like you have to open the terminal in the project directory and you have to give the com we are going to use the command called test go test and uh, to read the uh, all the test files inside the project so what we are going to do is like we are going to give a dot slash which will tell like okay read in this uh, current directory and then uh, successive three dots so what those three dots mean is like it will check in each and every folder like if there is any uh, underscore test file is there it will run everything and then to read the uh, logs uh, like whatever log we have added uh, the t dot log and uh, t dot print length kind of thing so those kind of logs if you want to read we have to give one one other flag called uh, dash v uh, which is short form of verbose let's just uh, yeah so if you can see it has checked in all the uh, repositories mm, so if you can see if mongodb successfully connected ping success and our test mongo operation inside deploy one uh, created an employee with a object id 6583 something so yeah our test case is working and our mongodb uh, connection is also working so now if you want to check the data in the mongodb so just go to your atlas account and refresh it the collections and if you you'll find like employee test is there and once you click it you'll find like okay the the object is there and if you can see the 6583 is the object id which is written by the um, mongodb so yeah now just uncomment the employee uh, emp2 at line number one so let's add another employee uh, just copy paste it and just change the employee name like this steve rogers and department is army and employee two and uh, now let's get the employee one so for that we are going to create another test case called uh, t.run get employee one and the function is going to be uh, accepting the testing dot t and we are going to use reuse the employee repo which we have initiated in the beginning and uh, employee repo will call find employee by id uh, employee one it will return the result if it's successful and if there is any error we'll just uh, stop the execution there and there dot log employee one and we'll just print the name here uh, if you want a better uh, level of uh, test cases that that time you can just simply check on the uh, the data which is returned like result dot name it should be tony stark so we can add certain a uh, few more additional test cases like if uh, result dot name equals to equals to tony stark 
then only we will consider it as uh, true else it is a fake test case but those things uh, we can do later also but it is just to keep it simple now let's uh, uh, add another test case called get all employee uh, which is going to be very simple and straightforward the test case name going to be get all employee uh, and uh, it will accept the function employee repo dot find all employee yeah. and it will return all the results and the error basic error check stop the execution and print the results great so now the next operation which we had done is like the update one so we are going to update the employee one so we are just going to simply update its name uh, so employee model uh, employee so now we'll just update the name as a tony star ak iron man and we'll just keep the other fields as it is like the department physics and employee id as emp1 and then we are going to call our uh, emp repo dot update employee by id and we pass the employee one and employee and the basic error check t dot log update count like how many things has updated so once uh, uh, we have updated our uh, employee we want to check if uh, that particular employee is updated or not so for that we'll just copy paste this uh, the same um, get employee one uh, test case we'll just rename it by after update so yeah so now we can just add two more test cases one for delete one and delete uh, all so delete one employee going to do the same thing t dot run delete employee one emp report or delete employee by id one and basic error check and t dot log delete count so to check if if it is deleted or not what we can simply do is like we can fetch all the employees or another way to do it is like fetch the particular employee so that also will tell if that particular operation is done or not so now last test case is like delete all employee for cleanup so what we can do is like simply delete all employee So now let's just test let's test it. So go test and yeah. So we can see all our test cases are passed. Uh, if you can see from the top, insert one successful, insert two successful, get employee one, Tony Stark, get all employee, Tony Stark and uh, Steve Rogers, update employee one. Mm, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, yep, or delete all employee, delete it one, yeah. So, yes, we have completed uh, uh, all the methods and we wrote all the test cases for this. So, in the next lecture, we are going to complete uh, this application by adding the API layer of Gorilla Mux, and uh, that's going to be our final chapter. I hope you like this lecture. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.